making money online was never easier than now and this is literally the best time to start an online business and generate a side income and i say side income because this is not the typical video on how to get rich fast or stuff like that but rather to generate a side income alongside your regular job. Okay, so there are many business models or side hustles that you can do, including crypto, affiliate marketing and dropshipping. But since this is a channel about CGI and 3D stuff, I'm going to show you step by step how you can start selling your 3D models online. When it comes to selling 3D models, the first step is to find a niche. This can either be something you're very good at, something that isn't on the market already, or something that is very hard to model, like humans, animals, or cars. The second step is to actually create your 3D models. What software you use is fully up to you. This can be Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, ZBrush and so on. There are literally so many options you can choose from. Next, we will talk about quality and presentation. Like, compare these two images. It is the same 3D model, but most people would buy the one on the right rather than the one on the left, because the lighting and background just fits better. Let's break this down in Blender, but the workflow is just the same in any other software. Okay, first make sure there are no overlapping or duplicate vertices. You can do this by going into edit mode, then pressing A, M and then click on merge by distance. Also make sure all of your normals show in the same direction. Then you can go to mesh, normals and then press on recalculate outside. The next important step is to UV unwrap your model. It can be helpful to use smart UV project and set the margin to 0.05 so the UVs don't overlap. Now center the model and apply the scaling and location. You can do that by pressing Ctrl and A at the same time and then clicking on all transforms. Also make sure you got high quality textures and export them with the following names. The names can differ a bit from platform to platform, but these are the most common ones. Now your model is ready for presentation. You could make a simple backdrop like this, or what I personally like to do is setting the world color to either pure black or pure white and then adding some area lights for smooth lighting. You can change the color of your lights too, if you have something like interior models, I would recommend going with warmer lights and if you have exterior or industrial models, I would recommend having white or slightly bluish lights. It is also welcome if the model is available in many file formats, so make sure you do that as well. Pay attention that you check the box export selected only or else you will export your whole scene with the camera, lights and so on. Okay, now we come to the fourth step and this is finding the right platform for you. Here I made a little table for demonstration. Having a known website is good if you want to keep 100% of your royalties, but the con is you already need a strong fan base or many customers. There are options like Patreon and Gumroad where you can also share your models, but here you will get less royalties and you will need a fan base too. So if you already have a fan base, I would definitely go with a known website. And lastly, there are websites like CG Trader or TurboSquid that do all the marketing for you and you get the customers, but you can only keep 70 to 80% royalties. I would definitely recommend this method for beginners since you don't have to do any marketing at all. Keep in mind that finding a good niche and having a high quality is very important since there are already millions of 3D models out there. I would also recommend starting out if you got around 5 high quality models so you can get a bit of traction. And if you're running the shop with some friends then you can get good results even faster. But keep in mind as I said in the beginning you will not get rich from this unless you have 
thousands of high quality 3D models out there. But this could give you a nice side income, which I think in today's world is nothing bad to have, especially if you're already working in this field. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.